sister, are you ready to go shopping for some wedding shoes? Ready. Ready, okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with these. So I'm not trying to be scandalous in any way by showing you guys these bras, but they're honestly so freaking comfortable. They're online, they're just like lace bras and they're from Victoria's Secret as you can see, but I already have a black one. I ordered a second one because they are just so comfortable. They feel like you're wearing your sports bra, but yet you don't feel frumpy because they're so cute. So I ordered a white one. A black one and this kind of like plum color and this is my second black one because I got one black one and I seriously wear it so much I was like I'm just gonna order a second one and I think they're only like they're under $18 a piece if you order two at once so go to Victoria's Secret hopefully they're still on sale but I will link them down in the description for you guys to go get them for yourself good morning you guys this little girl is listening to music on my phone while she plays it's one of her favorite things to do I'm about to get ready for church. I look like a wreck right now. Just feel like a wreck right now. We have an open house happening while we're gonna be at church. So I need to like clean also before I get out of the house. Let's go inside, it's freezing. Let's go to church. <sighs> Church is over, pumping gas right now. It's so cold outside. I'm so ready for spring. I feel like this has been the longest winter of my entire life. Probably because I've just been completely stuck inside with this little girl. We're back home now. If you guys have not heard of Mochi, this brand is My Mo. Mochi ice cream, and this is the ripe strawberry kind, and man, so delicious. It's like eating a cloud. So this is what it looks like. You have to let it on thaw for a little. I'm assuming Zach got into these since there's only one left. <laughs> Sun shines through the blanket. You look so cute with your crazy hair. Hey! I'm a ghost to go. Look at that wild hair. We're ordering Zach's tux right now from this place called The Black Tux. I actually saw an, an ad for them on YouTube today, and you can just rent everything all in one place, and our total for everything so far is $190. That's literally everything we're gonna need for that day, and we can set up an account, email all of his groomsmen exactly the outfit they need to buy, and all they have to do is purchase it, and it's so simple. Such a fan. This is not an ad, I'm not sponsored, <laughs> but just if you're planning a wedding, it's a really good tool so far. Highly recommend. Okay guys, so I officially ordered my wedding shoes and these are not the ones I, I went with, but these are the ones I always pictured myself getting married in. But these were $250 and then I found a different pair that I'll show you guys. That is the pair I went with that I just could not pass up on. These are the pair I ended up going with. These are $75 and <laughs> I was like, okay. And there are wedding colors, they're like a blush in champagne which will match my dress but i love how the heel has just rhinestones all over it <laughs> i think it's so pretty 
I love this detail how it wraps around your ankle. I think that's really pretty. And I also went and held the picture of the shoe up next to my dress and I got like little butterflies in my tummy. That's what I told my sister Sarah because <laughs> I, I had to hold up to see if that was what's the right shoe and I definitely think it was. So I ordered it. I initially really, really wanted Louboutins <laughs> and Zach would have let me get them but I honestly just don't know if I could spend that much money on a pair of shoes, but they're so beautiful. I wanted the So Kates in nude, and they're just gorgeous. I'll show you a picture of them. So these are the shoes that I could not stop thinking about, and honestly, I'm obsessed with them still. They're so pretty. I mean, who doesn't love a good pair of red bottoms? They're so gorgeous, but they're also $725. <laughs> And I was talking to my sister who has owned a pair before and I've all, she said that they're very uncomfortable, which I've heard before. And not only that, but she was like, I had intense buyer's remorse after purchasing them. My sister and I are very similar people. So that's exactly what I was thinking that I would experience after buying these. Plus our wedding venue is going to ruin a pair of shoes like this if I'm not like overly careful. And I don't wanna be overly careful on my wedding day because of my shoes. You know, so it's just not practical. I'm a more practical person and I don't want to have buyer's remorse. Also, not only that, but if I'm going to spend that much money, I'm going to spend it on like a new camera to upgrade my YouTube channel. So I'm very happy with my decision. I want to show you guys the the combination of what we're going with for, for the groomsmen and for Zach. So they're going with a tan suit, white undershirt, tan suit vest, a blush, pink tie, <laughs> I'm so excited. Brown shoes and then the white pocket square. Is this your favorite? Being wrapped up like a baby? You love it? Oh, you ready to be naked, aren't you? She loves being wrapped up like a little baby. That was my favorite when I was little too. When my mom would pick me up out of the tub, wrapped up in a towel and snuggle me. But right now she's just running around naked. That's her second favorite, I think. Look at this wild hair. What did you do when you were sleeping? I'm gonna show you guys my PJs before I take them off because we are going to the gym this morning. But look how cute. Are you making a friend? I'm so dead right now. <laughs> Sprints are no joke. I'm gonna have to show you guys what I've been doing because it's been completely crazy, but so effective. You guys see how much better my skin's got after starting to use that Tatcha stuff? It's pretty crazy. Oh my goodness. You giving him kisses. What? Okay, it's a little bit unsanitary. <laughs> Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> All done. <laughs> We're gonna eat lunch together. <laughs> There's a few things I know for sure that we're doing for the wedding that I want to just show you and tell you about. So the first thing is one of my accessories that I'm going to be wearing. I'm trying to decide between this one. This is called a lariat, lariat necklace. So it's in the front and drapes down the back, which I love. And my the back of my wedding dress is like a V, deep V. So there's that one. Or there's this one that kind of goes around your waist as well. They're both really pretty. 
but I definitely am leaning towards this one. My inspiration for my bridesmaids. This is what we're gonna be doing. It's a combination of like a cream color, a blush pink, and the sequins, and I am like just so obsessed with this combination. We're still working on getting everybody's dresses picked, but we're pretty close to getting that decision made, so I cannot wait. Here's another example of what it would look like. I'm just, it's so me, I'm so obsessed. <laughs> For my hair, I want something like big and glamorous, but I want it, like I want curls hanging down, but I don't want it to take away from my dress because my dress, the back is so low. If I had my hair down, it just wouldn't be right, I don't think. So I'm gonna do something like this and I'm gonna put some baby's breath in my hair. Here's another example. I have a few different things pinned. I like this a lot too. And then this, just big and pretty glamorous with curls hanging down. This is definitely something I'm gonna be doing. The sign might be a little bit different, but I know for sure I'm gonna do the candles on the floor and I might just do pink rose petals down there, and then I might just do pink rose petals on the table as well, and then just some candles. I'm gonna keep that portion of the decor, the decor really simple, um, and I also have changed my mind a little bit on the centerpieces because initially I told you guys I was gonna do this. It's changed a little bit because the tea lights that I'm getting from, they're from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has some tea lights that are like this, but they're just shorter. So they're not as like tall and glamorous, but they're way more affor affordable. And I literally could not pass it up. So they're just shorter. And then for the centerpiece, um, I think I'm just gonna end up doing like pink rose petals scattered on the center of the table. And that's it. Like literally it's gonna be simple and elegant and I think it's gonna be so pretty and very cost effective and time effective. Because we won't have to do all of these centerpieces, we're just gonna be sprinkling rose petals across the top of the table. We still have the bouquets that we have to make and then the big floral piece that's gonna go on the arch at the end of the aisle. So I still need to convince my dad to do this. I haven't asked him yet, honestly, but I don't think he didn't have any problem making this. Um, kind of a, it's a donut wall. We're doing a dessert table. So this would be in the back. So for my bouquet, I do plan on just having baby's breath and roses. But I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to have some silver dollar eucalyptus. That's what it looks like. I'm trying to decide if that's what I should add or anything at all. I like it either way, to be honest. Okay, literally, last thing I know I'm crazy about Pinterest. We are doing a Polaroid picture guest book, basically. So people are gonna snap a picture and write their well wishes and just sign their names there. I think it's gonna be so cute to have pictures of everybody on our day to look back on, and I'm just so excited for that. We're gonna start the book off with a picture of Zach and I, you know, doing something silly. As you can tell, I am a little bit crazy about Pinterest. <laughs> I love Pinterest, it's been such a helpful resource during wedding planning. A little bit too helpful because there's so many stinking ideas on there for like centerpieces, you could literally make any idea come to life with Pinterest, so you just kind of have to pick and figure out what you want and then go with it. So, <laughs> so don't get caught in a Pinterest wormhole if you're wedding planning like me. Get an idea of what you want and then execute your vision. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed getting a little insight into wedding planning that I've been doing recently. Honestly, taking a break from uploading twice a week has been like really helpful already and it's only March 4th. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. We are literally doing nothing else for the rest of the day. Except for I'll probably spend at least five more hours on Pinterest. <laughs> so I will see you guys on Tuesday.